So for that, I have the formula. Molarity is given weight upon molecular weight into 1000 upon Vm. So I am substituting 1 by 20 molar means molarity is 1 by 20. Weight is to be calculated. Molecular mass is 392. 100 ml is the volume that we need to prepare. So 1 by 20 is W by 392 into 1000 by 100. When I solve, I get the value as 1.96 gram. So now we will do the uh, practical part, the practical aspect of this. Yeah. So here we have the electronic balance. It reads 0.00. I am going to put a filter paper on this. So this is now reading 1.78. So we are going to add, this is 0.8 with the paper. So we are going to add 0.8 to our weight. We need 1.96. So we'll add that to the weight and measure. Now before we start the measurement, just look at this. We have a volumetric flask and if you can see carefully, there is a mark here. This is the mark on the neck of volumetric flask. So you can read 100 ml on the bulb here. Okay, I have a beaker and a stirring rod. So let us start making the calculations, measuring, weighing the uh, required amount of more salt that is 1.96 grams. So you can see this is 0.8 gram. So we are now going to add more salt solution in more salt to this so that the total weight here becomes 2.7 7 gram. We need 1.96. This is already showing now 0.81. So I am going to add till the weight here becomes Now just a speck more. So this is almost done. We had 0 0.8 and 0 0.81. It was shuffling between 0 0.8 and 0 0.81. So now this is 2.76. This is the required weight to make the solution. Now I am going to transfer this entire content into the beaker in which I am going to make the solution. Transferring, taking care, it is better to use a watch glass for making these measurements because you can then rinse off the entire salt from the watch glass, right. Now I am going to add a small amount of water first in order to dissolve this, small amount of water we need to make a total. 100 ml solution so less than 100 say roughly 50 ml uh, I am adding and I am trying to dissolve stir to dissolve solution into the volumetric flask shaking in order to ensure that the entire salt maximum of it is taken now I am going to add to this a little more water uh, taking care to rinse the stirring rod also so that any crystal that sticks to the stirring rod also gets transferred. So I am going to transfer this liquid and we will do this 2-3 times to ensure complete transference of all the crystals into the volumetric flask. I am going to do it once more and I will also rinse the walls of the beaker. So any crystals that are left adhering to the walls of the crystal, we make sure 
that will transfer all that. So I'm going to transfer this also. And now I'll just try to uh, give one final rinse to the funnel also. And try to dissolve the solution. To this, I have to add more water to let the volume fill till here. So this last uh, few ml of water, I'll be adding either using a pipette or using a wash bottle. Just adding a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid in order to make the solution clear. And now I am going to fill the remaining with a wash bottle. So we are going to add till the lower meniscus touches the graduation and finally I will just put the cock on and shake it and we have our standard solution ready.